people periodically ask me, how should they hold their poi? Overall, I would say there's no right or wrong way to hold your poi, but I would like to share how I like to hold my poi and then a few other possible options. How I hold my poi is pretty simple. It's pinching the end of the poi between my thumb and forefinger, like this. That thumb and forefinger pinch is the basis of how I hold my poi, especially when I don't actually have a finger loop to hold on to. For instance, I'm spinning double-ended poi, I don't have a loop to work with, maybe I'm switching grips or something. Or if I just have some sock poi without loops. One of the benefits of just using a thumb and forefinger pinch and getting used to spinning that way is obviously when you don't have a loop to hook into, you're just holding on to something. It's also the position you're going to get in if you wrap your poi up to shorten them, so you might as well get comfortable using it. The cons are that when your fingers aren't quite used to it yet, you might get some finger cramps if you spin for a really long time. If you're spinning without your poi wrapped around your hand, and your poi is not tethered on your hand, and you get tired or distracted, your poi might fly away. Which is why, if I'm spinning with finger loops, I also like to tether my poi. The way I like to anchor my poi on my hand is to put the loop around my middle two fingers and bring it in between those fingers, taking a single loop and turning it into something like a double loop, hanging down from the palm, facing down. From there, I just wrap around and get into my thumb and forefinger pinch. The nice thing about the way I like to loop my poi around my hand is that it's really quick. I can just slip it on there, flip it in, and I'm ready to go. And if I want to take my poi off really quickly, it comes off very quickly, which is good if you're spinning fire and you need to get your poi away from your hand really quickly. That's a benefit. You're likely at first when you use this grip, if you spin for a really long time, to maybe chafe a little bit because it does come out easily. If you want to more securely fasten the poi to your hand, what you might want to do, slightly more complicated, take and pinch the handle hanging palm down and then flip the loop over, getting you basically into the same position, except now this cinches down and is locked around your fingers, so it won't easily slip away, which is something you want to think about if you're going to spin fire like this. Let me show you a few other ways that you might find useful. You could instead start hanging down and flip up so that you're using the back of your knuckles. And of course you can cinch that way too. A lot of people, instead of using the middle two fingers, like to use the first two fingers. You could do this grip with the first two fingers. You could cinch. Same grip, more secure, first two fingers. This has been very popular with a lot of people for a lot of years. First two fingers hanging down and flip through like this. And of course you can cinch that way too. I started out like this and then moved away from it. I think it's a good grip for some beginners in that it very directly connects to the first two knuckles and the wrist and allows you to more directly feel the sort of scooping and wrist rolling motion rather than holding on to and trying to forcefully control what the poi are doing. But ultimately I find that pinching like this gives me a lot more fine-tuned control. So another variation you might see, pretty popular with a lot of glow stringers I think, is to loop around the ring finger and just wrap around the hand to that same sort of thumb and forefinger pinch grip. It's just another kind of looser, easier way to anger to your hands.